Okay, my name is Rob Lamosclo, and I am a letterpress printer and book designer. I grew up in the uh, central New York Finger Lakes region. Uh, it's just a beautiful area to have grown up in. There are lakes everywhere and a lot of nature. There's also, um, now I enjoy staying in the air because there's a lot of book arts actually nearby. Um, so it's a great area to be in. I started in uh, letterpress in 2005, and that was my freshman year at Wells College. At that point, I really didn't know anything about letterpress or book design or anything about books, really. I just knew that I liked books. Um, I started at Wells with kind of an interest in sculpture, maybe fine arts. And my first semester, I needed an elective. And I saw on the course list that they had intro bookbinding class. And I didn't really know what that was all about, but decided to try it. And I really enjoyed it. And it all started from there. Well, one of the people that really influenced me was Bruce Rogers. And he was a American book designer. Uh, he was born in Lafayette, Indiana. And he worked uh, during the early 1900s to about the 1950s. That's when he passed away. And he was one of the people that really, um, I don't want to say he was the first book designer, but he was one of the early pioneers of book design. Uh, previously, uh, each publishing house or publisher would kind of have a set uh, style that they would design all their books in. And he was the first person that, or one of the first people that really started designing books based on what the content of that book is. That's something we really take for granted now, you know, that when we grab a book that the typography and the layout and everything is going to really um, complement the text. But that was kind of a new idea then. Um, if we think about the real really old type founders, uh, people like Garamond or even Gutenberg, there was so much involved in designing and casting their own typeface, so they might only have one or two typefaces. Um, a lot of the older typefaces are actually named after their designer. If we think about Garamond, you know, Garamond printed in Garamond and Jensen printed in Jensen and so on and so on and there was just too much time involved to have multiple typefaces. But Bruce Rogers coming along at, when this technology was available, he really embraced that technology and did some amazing work with it. Well, I always had an interest in uh, the fine arts, especially sculpture. So I think I may have pursued that. Uh, originally when I started uh, my studies at Wells, that's sort of the direction I was going in. I hadn't really heard of book arts at that time and didn't really know what it was. And the thing that actually originally attracted me to that early binding class was the idea that books could be sculptural, uh, which is something I've moved away from a little bit in my work, um, but something that I enjoyed and still enjoy. My first memory of digital technology, I was probably in elementary school, uh, my mother, signed me up for uh, this summer course the school was having. Uh, and at that point, um, the technology was pretty crude. Uh, we had, you know, a black and white printer with a ribbon in it and some, some old uh, page layout software, and we did various things. And I had forgotten about, but my mom reminded me recently that one of the things I really wanted to do in this class was actually make a book, which is kind of funny. Um, and I and apparently it was a lot of trouble because at that point, you know, the software was not really designed uh, well to make a book. So that's really my first memory. At the time, I, I was kind of disappointed with the technology. I thought, you know, I'd be able to do all this stuff and just wasn't able to. Well, I use the uh, computer for pretty much all my work. I start with the design. And some people might think, oh, well, that's cheating. I mean, I would have thought that at one point that it was cheating. Uh, but it's just another tool that you can use to set up. Um, you know, if, even if I'm doing a book in metal type, I'll design it on the computer because it's a great tool and you can try different things that would just take days and days to try a metal type and quickly decide if you like it or not. I think uh, the millennium generation, um, I don't want to seem a little pessimistic or anything, but I think we've become a little a little impatient. Um, 
when you look back and you do these older processes and you see just how much time and how much work is involved. And those really aren't negative things because the longer you spend on one of these book projects or a design, actually the better it gets. You start to see little ways that it can be improved. So I think that, you know, we've just become a little bit maybe impatient. <laughs>